Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 13th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to another video from Daily Events. Looking here at the Daily Do, give you a space weather update as well earthquakes. We are currently under a geostorm watch. G2 storm as we are expecting some pretty intense space weather brought to you by the CMEs and solar flares that we've seen and that I've been documenting here with daily events the last couple days. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, watch this produce a tsunami wave across the western part of the cresting sun. Looking at outgoing imagery here, very active. And as well, quite a few plasma filaments. Solar cycle 25, definitely ramping up and amping up to what NASA said it would be. A very intense. Solar cycle, maximum. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, pointing out those regions, and as well that big sunspot region in the northern hemisphere. No coronal holes to talk about, but there are quite a few extended plasma filaments in the southern hemisphere, which I talked about. Just wanted to point them out here. Erecting from one coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. Looking here at Lasco 2. No new events to talk about. The small CME that produced the tsunami wave across the sun. That's about it. As far as new sun events, we are still expecting a solar storm. From the M-class solar flare and as well the CMEs and the C-class solar flare just recently. So looking here, KP index of 6 as the solar flux is now going back to B range. Schumann resonance for today, a power of eight. A2, power 12. Quality of 11.5. And then we get to earthquakes. And I was gonna put out a warning video earlier today because there were many deep earthquakes. And then this happened. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours, 6.7 earthquake in Indonesia. As well, a pretty sizable earthquake just northeast there at the Philippines. But this was followed by a 5.5. And as well, a 4.5 there. Philippines, that was a deep earthquake. Philippines, 6.4 after a very deep earthquake here in Gadung, Philippines. 589 kilometer depth. Don't normally see very deep earthquakes there like that. So we were expecting something. And I was about to put out the video and then they came. So I went live so that everybody could see and monitor. Carrying on here, South Africa, 4.8. As well, a 5.3 here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. So something's up right now. All plates are going crazy. South America, very quiet, except for northern parts towards Mexico. The Cocos Plate is very active recently. Ecuador, 4.6, 4.5 here in Panama. And then up into Mexico, the 5.3 from earlier today. Palmarchito, Mexico, 53 kilometer depth. As well, notable here, Gulf of Mexico, 4.6, 13 kilometer depth. So what's going on with our planet now? We've got some big shifts going on. We've got World War III going on. Prayers for humanity. Prayers that you have a plan. Luckily, there was no tsunami that went out with the large earthquakes today. 6.4 Philippines. As well notable here at the same time a 4.1 pinnacles california six kilometer depth all at the same time 6.7 6.4 and then 4.1 here cali as well texas seeing a 
but no major swarms to talk about. We're only sitting at about 200 earthquakes across the planet in the last 24 hours, but it's the big ones that we're talking about here. At two station as well, through Lucian Islands, and then even deeper earthquakes today, Tonga region, 538, as well 589 kilometer depth. So busy planet folks, stay aware and prepared and have a plan. Hashtag no fear here. Don't forget to get in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have a plan and if you're ready for a major earthquake. A quick look here at the last seven days across the world. I also want to take a quick moment here to thank everyone for watching. Thank you so much for your memberships. It really helps to further research and productions here with daily events worldwide. Much love. And thank you. Please share this video today with your friends and family. Coming on here, I wanted to give you an update on the bomb cyclone that is forming and heading towards Greenland. Look at the size of this thing, still on windy.com, projecting a very large low pressure system. And it looks like that deep trough is not going to penetrate Greenland. It's going to sit there off the coastline, just churning and churning. Atmospheric river moisture heading towards Iceland as well, Northern Europe. Interesting convergence line here heading through the Atlantic too in the long range forecast. For the current weather forecast, check out last night's video or you can tune in tomorrow for the next update. Very big low pressure systems are developing. And I've been warning about it for years. Some people have called me crazy. But when I saw the movie the day after tomorrow, I knew that they knew. Look at the size of these lows in the Pacific. A couple of them are going to be heading towards northern BC in the long range. But mostly Russia, Kamchatka will be feeling the effects of the huge ones. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world